Professor Mahdi, you are still of the solid opinion that we shouldn't be selling these 1.5 million vials of the AstraZeneca vaccine, though. Uh, so good afternoon, Nicholas. And just to clarify, the, the study that you're referring to in the NEJM, in fact, is the same study from South Africa, where we reported that the vaccine does not detect against mild infection due to COVID-19. Uh, I don't think we just had odds with, uh, between scientists in South Africa. In fact, the South African Ministerial Advisory Committee seems to be at odds with the experts that uh, advised the World Health Organization in terms of the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine in countries where the B1351 variant uh, circulates. So it's not me as an individual that has at odds with any of the scientists in South Africa, but rather the, the scientists that are making this decision being at odds with the World Health Organization experts that have recommended for the vaccine to be used. I think we need to be clear that the study from South Africa tested a particular hypothesis, and that is whether the vaccine had at least 60% of greater protection against mild to moderate infection. We simply can't conclude as to whether the study does or does, the vaccine does or does not protect against severe disease. The World Health Organization experts reviewed multiple data points, uh, including studies that have been done in animal models, as well as the comparability of this vaccine to other vaccines, including the J&J vaccine, in terms of how it works against protecting against severe disease. And the conclusion of the World Health Organization expert was that basically, even in countries where the variant is circulating, this vaccine highly, with strong probability, would still protect against severe COVID-19, even where the B1351 variant is circulating. 702. More than a radio station. Let's walk the talk.